Hey, my fellow Jeepers, how's it going? What you're looking at is the throttle body of my 1991 Jeep Wrangler YJ, 4.0 liter, inline six five speed. Uh, today's video, we're changing out the throttle position sensor. The throttle position sensor is located right here. Now you see, I've already got the plug and the hook, and I've already got the all the air tubing and all that stuff off. And if you guys need to see how the air tubing and the air in your air box and all this comes off, uh, refer to a other video that I will post a link right along in here somewhere. So, okay, first thing you want to do after you get all the air filter, air tube, box, and all that jazz out of the way, uh, you see you'll be moving this. Disconnect this out of the way. Get that out of your way for good measurement, which actually comes over here like this. Connects to that. Twist it back out of the way. Got this out of the way, which connects here, which goes up to your map sensor. But now, you see my little tab right here is broken. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to pick that little lever up right there, that little tab, and get it above this little hook. And once you get above it, you just kind of work it a little bit. Pops right off there. Okay, tuck it back out of the way. Now what we're going to do next, we got a screw back here, screw here, and one back here. Let's see if we can get back here to it. I'm having a hard time seeing what the camera sees, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Right there. And one over here. A little better perspective. Here's where the plug went in. You got a screw there, and screw there, and there are Torx head. T20 Torx. So that's the old tool I've got set up. And what we're going to do, we're going to get in behind here. Set my ratchet. And take out both those screws. Alright, so I'm going to take these screws out. I'll be right back with you. Okay, the screws are out. I'll just let that one in there. Do. Just for, I don't know why I left it in there. But we're going to take it out now. And look at that. Throttle position sensor slides right off. There it is. And six up here. What happens? See that little blade right there? Watch it rotate. Now I want to turn the throttle. Let's see what look what happens. What's happening? This is like okay, right now you're at idle. Go like this. You're giving it gas. Alright, you're going down the highway. Wooden, wooden, no, there you go. So what happens when I turn it, there's the throttle body opening. And you can back over to the lever. You can see it rotating. And what it's doing is right there inside that, when that lever uh, rotates, it's twisting this right here, which is a variable resistor, which tells the, uh, you got five bolts going in. It tells the computer where the throttle position is by varying the voltage throughout the sweep of the throttle. So let's get ready to put the other one back on. See, that was pretty easy taking it off, wasn't it? Okay, I think it's rather obvious which one's the new throttle position sensor. But the reason I'm showing this view, you know, look inside there, you see you got the three pins, you see where the little, the little divider is in there. Where it's positioned, look at this right here, make sure it's got the same tip there. Compare, just basically making sure you get the right part. Flip it, and look at the blades back here where they're positioned. Oh no, this one's white. Yeah, just joking. Alright, did you see? Same part. Alright, let's put this one on. Alright, let's put this baby on. What you want to do is, now if you try to go, okay, okay I've got my screw holes lined up. Try, hey, look, you just kind of, kind of bump on her like that. And you might get lucky and just slide on. But if you take it, tilt it back like this a little bit, you just kind of work with it. See right there, it slid right in. Then you just turn it like that and your screw holes line up. That's all you gotta do. Now, obviously I can't put the screws in and hold the camera, so I'm gonna put the screws in real quick. Okay, I worked with a couple hand positions so I could figure out how to show you guys a little trick real quick and hold the camera. Alright, see the screw come through the back side of the throttle position since right there? See it's there, it's not there, it's there, it's not there. Okay. You're taking your finger here. Set right finger here, push it against the head of the screw a little bit. And as you rotate the throttle position sensor downward, 
you feel a click right there. See, your screw hole is now your screw and your screw holes are now lined up. Screw it in a couple threads. See, I'm trying to pull it out, it ain't going nowhere. So now your other one's automatically lined up. So there's your little quick trick to line your screw holes up. All right, I'm going to tighten these up real quick. Okay, there it is. Now when you put the screws in, just snug them up good. Do not make them very tight. You've got the lid to be tight screws going into soft aluminum and soft plastic you're dealing with. Something's going to break, so just snug them up. That's all you got to do. Take your plug, ta-da, and plug it up. Okay, there it is. You've got the screws in. Now, bear in mind, when you put the screws in, don't get over crazy on the tight. You just want them good and snug because you're dealing with the soft aluminum, little bit fine threaded screws, and plastic. Just snug them up good. That's all you have to do. You don't want to break anything. Take your plug. Plug it back up. Okay, we have the install of the new throttle position sensor done, and let's just test it real quick. Now, if you guys refer back to one of my old video on how to test the throttle position sensor, I'll put the link to it, like right there at the end of my finger. Um, it showed that the low side, low side should be just a little above 200 millivolts. The low side on my old throttle position sensor was reading like 1.5 or something. It was, it was pretty high. It was above a volt, regardless. Now, we got a new throttle position sensor installed. Let's see what it reads. Now, just a little quick flashback here. Ground, anywhere, I mean, I'm just sticking through my ground strap here. Any place you can find a good solid ground, your voltmeter set at, and if you think of focus, we we'll set 20 volts DC. Highest thing you're going to read on most vehicles can be like 14 volts at the battery. Any place else, you're going to be fluctuating between 14 down to 12 or 11 or wherever. Oh, the reason I have two voltmeters. I started to test with this right here, which is, um, I guess you must have better quality one or whatever. My really good ones at work. Seems like all my tools always migrate at work. Anyway, but just for consistency's sake, this is the one I used in my first video on how to test the throttle position sensor. Just to be consistent, I'm going to use the exact same meter. Okay, now here's a wire trick. You want to back probe the middle wire on your throttle position sensor. Take your positive probe put there. Now look. 0.74. Now the other one, if you remember, the old one was reading well above a volt, like a volt and a half or volt sit 1.6 or something like that. It was reading quite a bit high. This one here is reading 0.74, which is fine. Now let me do something real quick. I need I want to take the lead and tie around this wire so I can use both hands for something. Be right back. Alright, both hands free. See I got the end wrapped around the I got the wire wrapped around the lead like that. What I'm just gonna show you is remember the original test how I ran the throttle through the test through the range. And what you want to do is okay, I'm pushing the throttle here. Push it back this way. Going down the road. Alright, giving it throttle, giving it throttle. Check the sweep, make sure your new throttle position sensor is good. See the voltage climb? I'm gonna freeze right there. See 2.62. I'm about half three quarter, about half throttle right now. Keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Now I got wide open throttle. Now 3.79 is good. It's okay. Uh, but they say the Chrysler manual says you want to be on the low side of 0.2, just a little above 0.2 or 200 millivolts. There it is, 0.7. Uh, on the low, on the high side, high range of the voltage, you want to be below five volts. So that way, the computer gets away. It's not too high feeding the computer. So there you go. Okay, we just did a throttle position sensor change, and that's how you test it. To make sure it's working for it correctly. All right, everybody, y'all have given me great, great feedback, great comments on the, all my other videos. And I really, really appreciate that. So, if you guys like this video, thumbs up, come on, show me those likes, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and share it, share it on your Facebook, share it on your Twitter, share it on your website, share it on your YouTube sites, on your YouTube channels, so, everyone, have a great day, I'm out of here, peace out, see y'all.